Hey, Facebook. How is everybody doing? Everybody all right? Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm going to leave you all in the care of my beautiful wife. As I you go, leaving me? I have to go take care of some stuff. Mm -hmm. That's my baby. She get ready to show y'all some. I hope that you all get something from it. Well, I thought it would be a good idea because you guys have been asking for my award-winning white chicken chili. So I thought I would cook it again because my mom and my family didn't get any of it hardly. I think there was a, I saved a little bit, but you still didn't get any. I, I think I, 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 think I ate song. it. So um, I'm going to make some more. And um, now I'm not the master cook. So don't come on here looking for the chef. This is not chopped or she gonna do well, food though. network she gonna or do anything. Well. Hey, Kiana. <laughs> She's going to do well. That's my realtor friend. Kiana, I missed y'all today. I was at the office. I got to go. Making my connections. I'll see y'all later. Bye, babe. Bye, babe. Love you. Do a great job. Love this is going to be good, y'all. Be careful because it is wet right. out there. Right. Okay, so anyway, um, what was I about to say? Hey, get away from my car. What? what? He's so <laughs> silly. So anyway, I'm going to make this again and see what happens. So be patient. I have chopped everything, so it shouldn't take that long uh, to be on here. But once again, I'm not the big cook, but be patient. Was it good? Awesome. I missed y'all. I know it was good. My realtor friends. So you guys, Keller Williams is the way to go. If you're looking for a home to buy or sell, call your girl. Especially married couples. I want to help our married couples learn to want to help our married couples invest in the real estate and start building their generation. I don't know if this connection is going to be good. Can y'all hear me and see me okay? Um, can y'all hear me and see me okay? Because Facebook has not been, the connection has not been great. But let's hope, here we go. All right, we're going to start. So I better get the oven on. I mean, the stove on. See, I'm already calling it the wrong thing. I'm going to start out with, uh, yeah, I see I'm going in and out. Yeah, I don't know. The net, the connection for Facebook has not been faithful. Uh, so it's skipping. Okay. So I hope for the best. Uh, Thank you, Verdell. Hey, Verdell, how are you? How you been? How you been? How you been? So hopefully it'll keep it'll stay connected. And I probably need to get my charger. Hmm, that would have been a good idea too, right? Because it's probably gonna go dead here and soon. But um, I'll definitely do that. Maybe my husband's charger's over here. Maybe I can take his. Hopefully it is. It's usually not where it needs to be. Found one. I found a charger, so maybe that'll help. Maybe. Oh, how about get an extension cord? Okay, I'm back. So I see it's going in and out. So we're going to hope for the best. But I'm going to try to get this recipe done so that you all can cook this. Maybe you're hungry and you want to cook it. So, hey, everybody. Okay, I'm back. So hopefully the connection will be good. So what I'm going to do is put some olive oil in this pot. And I'm low on olive oil, so we'll hope for the best here. Just use the rest of this up. Okay, I don't measure, so if you're looking for exact measurements, you're going to have to eyeball it too and figure out how much it is because I'm not really, I'll look at a recipe, but then I will add whatever I want to to it, okay? So I'm going to put my pot on the stove and get that heated up. And I have my onions and I have my celery and I have my bell pepper. So I call this the trinity. I call it the Trinity. And anytime you make a recipe with starting with the Trinity, man, you can start cooking and people think you really jamming up and you're not, you don't have the three ingredients in, but it, cause it smells so good. 
So I start with the Trinity and this is about probably a cup and a half. This is three stalks of celery and this is uh, one small bell pepper. Okay, so one small bell pepper, about a cup and a half of onions and three stalks of celery. That's the best I can tell you what that is. Okay, y'all having a good day? Hey, Holly. Hey, Minister Osborne. Hey, Tasha. Glad y'all are here. Y'all just checking in. Y'all probably on your way, maybe home from work or finishing up work. I am cooking up my uh, award-winning white chicken chili. It's going to be chilly tomorrow, so I thought it'd be a good idea to have something warm since my family did not get an opportunity to eat the chili that I made. Okay? How many of you guys have made this before? Let me know. Who's made this before? Let me know. Put in the comments if you made it before. How did you your calls go? Oh, Kiana, I did uh, make some calls today. I talked to some of my friends. Sorry. I was getting a phone call. Sorry. <laughs> so I was calling uh, some friends today. She's asking because we are, I'm in the process of building and growing my real estate business. Let me move my, how about y'all talk to me up here? Okay. So I'm in the process of growing um, my real estate business and Kiana is one of my colleagues. And so, uh, yes, I did make my calls today like I should. Mike got on me yesterday, by the way. Cause you know, I can get distracted real easy. So if I call you, my friends, would y'all pick up the phone and answer? That would be great. I may have something really good to tell you. Matter of fact, Billy and I are hosting an event next month. So be looking for that to be posted next month for married couples. We're having a married couples seminar on November 17th. All right, Facebook, come on, act right. Can y'all hear me and see me okay? Oh, okay, Tasha. She said I'll follow a recipe. Okay. Um, okay. Misha, you said you cooked it. You cooked white chicken chili before? I think that's what you're saying. Bishop Frazier said he has too. Yeah, everybody, it's easy. It's super easy. Like, I just did it, you know, this is probably my second, maybe second or third time cooking it. But today will make my third or fourth time. I don't know. I don't cook it often, but I do like it. You know what else I like, by the way, is the soup from Olive Garden. Forgot what that's called. It's one with the potatoes, and I use turkey sausage in it. That's I use like a copycat recipe. So anyway, I'm starting with the Trinity. Hopefully my let's see, let's check and see if the stove is getting. Oh my God, it's burning! Y'all didn't tell me it's burning over here. Wait a minute, y'all didn't see it smoking? It's smoking over here. My pot is too hot. So that's the thing about olive oil. You don't want to make your pot too hot because that that means that's that's not good. That's not going to get you where you need to go. Victoria, hey, how you doing, Victoria? You've made it before. That's great. You didn't see it. You couldn't see my pot smoking over there. I mean, it was like burning up. So if I put these onions in it, it's going to, they're going to burn because I was over here talking, running my mouth and didn't even mess with it. So. I'm going to eyeball this entire recipe and hopefully it's going to come out the same, okay? I'm going to eyeball the whole thing and hopefully it comes out the same. Hey, Marquis, how are you? Hope you had a wonderful day. I'll be calling you soon too, brother. Answer the phone. <laughs> Billy needs to be at home to help me. I know, Bishop. He does. He left. He said he got stuff to do. He ain't had time to be fooling with me. You couldn't see it either? You couldn't see it smoking? It was smoking over there. All right, so let's test it out. I'm gonna test it out and see if it's uh, it's good. So I'm gonna pour my onions in first. All right, I'm gonna put these onions in first. <laughs> what do you say? You're so funny, Kiata. I love you, girl. I'm so glad we have crossed paths. So glad. I'm here for you. That's for sure. All right, so that was the celery going in. All right, let me show you what else I got down here. Now I'm doing this one of these fancy video. These are the green peppers. I'm gonna put those in. The bell peppers. Get this out the way. Stir this all up. Mix it all together so, you know, I'm going to get a good combination. The pot's hot. I love this uh, 
this pot I have as well. It's one of those heavy duty pots. I forgot what they call them. Maybe y'all know what they're called. I'm losing my thought right now. I don't know. All right, so it's getting cool now. So I'm gonna stir that all in together. Okay. Back on the stove. We need to keep cooking. I don't know why this pack is over here. All right. Hey. I'm making white chicken chili for our potluck at work tomorrow. Oh, good, Charlie. And hey, awesome, 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 awesome. And congratulations to you as well. Yeah, I won. I cooked it Monday and I won the uh, competition. Dutch oven pot. There we go, Tasha. Thank you because I knew it was called something. Something, something. All right, so while that's cooking up itself, I'm going to get my garlic out. All right, so once again, I will cheat on the recipe in a minute. So I, I buy this minced garlic. Y'all buy that? Do y'all like that? Y'all use that? But I also have real garlic. So it really depends on which one I feel like doing. So today, since I'm doing a video, I'm going to use the minced garlic. Let's see how much is in here first. Eh, maybe it's enough in here. So I'm going to take about... I'm going to take about a good, I'm going to take all of this. This is a good tablespoon. Y'all don't laugh. I'm telling y'all, I eyeball these recipes. I have no idea what the chefs say you should put in this stuff. But I'm telling you, when, I, when it comes out, it's going to taste really good. So I take about a good tablespoon of that. Can y'all still see and hear me okay? Because I know y'all, I'm going to put this garlic in here. Here to back up, back me up when uh, I go over to the stove, but he's not here. He should have tuned in. All right, so I have garlic in there, onion, bell pepper, and celery. That's all cooking right now in the pot. So I'm going to let me raise this up so y'all can see. So Victoria said either or works. Yep, I think so too. So I think either or works too. So that's good. I'm glad you agree. Okay. All right. What are y'all doing on your way home? What are y'all making for dinner? What's for dinner tonight? What is everybody making for dinner? Y'all can talk to me. Let me know what's going on. So over here, I'm sitting here and let this sit out for a minute. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and season, season my trinity. Okay, I'm going to season my trinity. So I'm going to put a little black pepper. I'm going to put some chili powder. I'm going to put some oregano. And I'm going to put some, well, I got regular, regular paprika, and I also have smoked paprika. So I will use both of these eventually in this recipe. And the key ingredient to white chicken chili is cumin. So cumin and smoked paprika will bless your life. I was out of smoked paprika on Monday, and I did not use it in the recipe. So, and it still turned out good. It's, oh, you're having Hispanic meatballs and salsa. Something simple after a long day. That sounds good, though. I don't know how to pronounce that that you said, but Hispanic meatballs. What else y'all have it? Tasha says she ordered a pizza because you all oh, you over cold. Kennedy has a cold right now too. Tasha, she's trying to work that thing out. I hope you feel better, cousin. Hope you feel better. Um. All right. So let's season up this stuff. All right. So I have my. Let me not put it on this. I'm going to put a towel over here. Okay, so hopefully nothing to catch on fire. Okay, so I'm going to lay a towel down here so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, let's try it again. So here's my pot. It's cooking up. So this is the celery, the bell pepper, and the... Oh, Victoria's having Philly cheesesteak. That sounds good. Sounds like it'll bless your life. Now... For you all who are perfectionists, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all now, this is not the, the chick to listen to when it comes to figuring out how, see, look, I'm going to use this side. I'm like, no, let's just use this side because I need to put a lot of cumin in here. 
So I do put a, quite a bit of cumin, uh, cumin in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my chili powder and my seasoning. So the key is if you can season in layers, would be great because you don't want to get all the liquid in there and then try to season and then it's just and this is oregano that i'm putting in there okay so that's oregano cumin chili powder uh what else did i say black pepper yeah that's what's in here now so i'm going to get all of this together and these are my veggies are getting softer so which is good, that's what I like, that's what I like. So then I'm gonna go ahead and, man, I'm doing my best to remember all this recipe because I don't even have it sitting here. So next I'm gonna take these green chilies and if you like it spicy, I think they have a hot version of these green chilies but I'm really funny about uh, making it too hot so the kids can eat it even though Billy likes it really hot. So I know that me and Billy will probably eat most of this so I'm gonna put this whole can, you can put two cans, some people put two cans in there. Uh, I'm gonna put this in there. Yeah, Victoria, I'm gonna get the salt in there. Hang on, sister, hang on. I don't use salt too quick because these chili powders, this, the chili powder and the chicken broth and all that stuff will be in there. Actually, I don't even use salt for the base. What I will use is Lari's. Lari's is a good, uh, is a good um, choice with salt if you need, you know, put it in. So I'll use just some seasoned salt because I don't have any lorries. I'm out of lorries. I know that's probably a cuss word, but yeah, I'm out of lorries. So I will use just a little of this seasoning salt and go ahead and mix this all together. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I was telling Kiana that if I call y'all, can y'all please answer the phone? Y'all know I'm doing my best to grow my real estate business, help these married couples and individuals invest in real estate. Really want to help married couples find their dream homes or start real estate investing. So Billy and I are going to have a seminar for married couples next month, November 17th. Save the date from two to four. It's going to be out here where we close to where we live in Hendersonville. All right, put this back on the stove. Put that back on the stove. And so... Hey, everybody. Here I am. Y'all are like, where is she? Let's see who else is on here. Will you post the recipe later? I will post, Yolanda, I will post the ingredients. Y'all figure out how much of each. I may just say a little of this, taste it, put a little bit more. I'm just not really good with the measurements. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. I'm not a chef, but I have figured out this white chicken chili, okay? Matthew, man, old friend. Hey there. Hey, Erica. Tasha's laughing at me. I know. I laugh at myself too. I have to. So what I also have right here is some rotisserie chicken. So this is you can cook your own chicken. Hey, Tonet. You can cook your own chicken, but who 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 got time for that right now? I don't have time for that right now. So I went and bought me a rotisserie and I deboned it and chopped it up. And it already has a good taste to it. Let's see. Now, the best rotisserie chicken. Can y'all hear me and see me? Because Facebook keeps going in and out. What I was saying is the best rotisserie chicken is at Publix. But because I was at Kroger and I was not going to another grocery store, I grabbed one from Kroger. And I chopped it up. See, Charlie, you don't measure either. I know. I probably should. Because I have butchered some recipes before. Um, yeah, that lemon pepper rotisserie at Publix will bless your life, Tonette. Yes, sister. You know what I'm talking about. See, girl, we grew up around the same woods. So you know we know about that lemon pepper. All right. What's next, y'all? What's next? I put the chilies in there. What I need to be doing now? See, I lost my train of thought. I was busy talking to y'all. Oh my God, don't go to Sam's for that rotisserie. Oh no, you got to go to Publix and get that lemon pepper. It's amazing. It's so good. They got good hot wings too. They got really good hot wings. All right, so also go ahead and get your white beans together. I use the Great Northern white beans and they are um, rinsed. So I rinse these and I use these. 
Oh, Tasha, y'all don't have a Publix? Oh, okay. I don't know what would be good up north then. If you can go to Whole Foods. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and I have some jalapenos. I told you I'm going to make it spicy. So I'm going to take these jalapenos out. And I'm going to start chopping them up because I didn't do that beforehand. So I'm going to get those together. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got going here. So y'all want to know how much jalapeno? It depends on how spicy you like it. So I remember I put those green chilies in there. That's about enough. Let's see what we got. That's a, let's see what we're working with. That's my favorite knife. I can't find them when you look at it. Unless it's knife, I've already used it. Okay. Got my knife. I'm going to uh, chop up these jalapenos. And don't y'all be talking about my chopping skills either now. Don't judge. But this chili will make you slap your mama, I'm telling you. Now, one thing I do when I chop up my veggies, um, depends on what I'm cooking. Like for this chili, I chopped up those onions and bell pepper and celery. I chopped that stuff up really small because I don't want my kids to be like, ew, what is this? You know, I don't want them to be tripping. So, so these jalapenos, I'm gonna do the same thing because they're hot and I just want to be a taste. Okay, something's burning over here, y'all. Something's burning, y'all. Didn't tell me that. I'm gonna burn up the chili before I can get the chili cooked. I gotta take it off the stove, y'all, because it's burning. Wig, what's Wigman's? Is that oh okay? Well, Whole Foods, yeah, that'll be good. I said Whole Foods. You can go get some good rotisserie chicken. Up north, yeah. She's asking you about what grocery stores y'all have up north. All right, so I'm gonna take this and put it in a little bowl for now because my chili was getting too hot over there. My ingredients, so I gotta go cool them down. Cause I'm busy talking. See, I told you I'm not good at this, but I'm going to figure it out because y'all want the recipe, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is this right here will bless your life. This right here, it comes in vegetable, chicken, and beef. It will bless your life. It's so much better than the box stuff, right? This, I have both, and I'll tell you why. Because I bought the vegetable version because most of the time I cook with vegetable base. Try to not to, you know, do too much meat if at all possible, so I'll cook with the vegetable base. It is much, it's richer, it's more seasoned. This is the vegetable version. But because it's chi white chicken chili, I did buy this. And okay, all right. Y'all still have good connection with me? Y'all still here? So I'm gonna take some of this, about a tablespoon, even though I'm using a small spoon, I'm gonna take a tablespoon, I'm gonna put it in this cup. This is probably real ghetto, but whatever. I didn't never said I was a chef, right? Okay, put it in this cup and put some water in it. Water it down. And I'm going to mix it up, stir it. Mix it up. Make its own base. All right. So this is the base. This is going to be the base. This is a vegetable base. Right? Don't just put water in your chili because it just takes all your season away so always use some type of broth if you need liquid for or I say for your liquid because you're gonna need it so otherwise it'll be something else right all right so pour this in and that'll cool off my vegetables because they were getting too hot put it back on the stove put it back on the stove All right, I put that back on the stove. Once again, for you all just join us, I use this better than bouillon. Look, this ain't even the top. I'm busy reading your comment and putting the wrong top. Girl, you're fine. Sip it cup if it's close. You are so funny. <laughs> hey, whatever works. Whatever works, right? What does this go to? Oh, the jalapenos. It goes to the jalapenos. Okay. See, I'm getting sidetracked. Y'all know I get easily distracted. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take these jalapenos, and I'm going to put them in as well. Um, and I have cilantro cut up as well. So you can put it in with your veggies, but remember I told y'all I was just burning them, so anyway, it's too late. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in and put my jalapenos in, 
Just start dumping. Just start dumping the stuff in there. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to let that cook till it starts boiling. All right. So now I'm going to start dumping. So I'm now going to dump my white beans, the great northern beans. This is three cans of white beans. Three cans of white beans. Okay. Three cans of white beans. Chicken. Here's the chicken. Hey, Rochelle. Hey, friend. How y'all doing? I'm cooking up some stuff here. And then I'm taking, this is one whole rotisserie chicken. Okay, one whole rotisserie chicken. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So, I'll bring it over here so y'all can see it. So, you have the white, the chicken, the beans. You have your liquid now in there. And you could tell it's not a lot of liquid, but that's okay. Don't stress. Don't stress. Just start stirring this stuff in, stirring it up together. Look like goulash right now, don't it? Just a bunch of stuff you done cleaned out your refrigerator on. But it's going to turn out to be white chicken chili, I promise. All right, stir it up. Ooh, look at that cilantro. I love cilantro. Do y'all like cilantro? Some people don't like it. Some people don't do cilantro. But I like it. 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 Where is my... Here's another trick to my recipe. I'm going to take this lime. This is a half of a lime. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it in to... Um, squeeze it in here. I love limes because you don't have to worry about seeds, etc. So I'm going to squeeze the whole thing in here. Oh, you love salon. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Tanisha, get on it, girlfriend. It was so good to see you Saturday, darling. So good to see you. So while I'm squeezing, who do y'all know that's talking about moving? I need to know. I need to know who they are. Who do I need to know that you know? Need y'all's help to grow my real estate business, help these married couples invest in real estate, build their legacy, Help serve some folks. So y'all answer the phone when I call y'all. I love you though. You know that. I just love people in general. Y'all know that. I don't really have, you know, people may not like me, but I show sure love people. So it is what it is. It's just who I am. I know I can be a little extra sometimes. But I love me. Because if you don't love you, who else going to love you? Right? How is that looking? Is that looking good to y'all? Is that looking good? Mm, maybe not. Okay, let's warm it up. Let's put it back on the stove. All right, going to let that cook. I'm going to rinse my hands off. Because I'm just real funny about having anything on my hands. I'm going to wash them. Because then they're going to have that lime juice all over them. Okay, all right, so next up is the frozen corn. Use frozen corn and not canned corn. Use frozen corn, it's better for you anyway. I hear it has less stuff in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my corn in there. And this is a 12 ounce, this is a 12 ounce bag, a dollar at Kroger's, one dollar at Kroger's. I'm gonna put that in. Put that um put that in there okay now let's get ready for the other fun ingredient this is cream cheese and i just buy the block version you can buy it in the container that's already smoothed out creamed out whipped out whatever it's called so i just buy it in this block version from for these type of recipes and then i go ahead and cut it into slices not too thin, but go ahead and cut it. This knife got jalapenos on it, so it's all right. I didn't rinse it off. It's all going to the same pot. So I cut this into like little slices like this. You see that? If y'all think somebody gonna like this recipe, y'all share this video, okay? I appreciate you. 
All right, so I cut it up. Let me stop playing with it. <laughs> now we'll go ahead and... Actually, I'm not going to put this in yet. I'm not going to put that in yet because I need some more liquid first. Okay. Now, here's one thing I use too, instead of using a lot of regular salt. Um, I, I wasn't sure how this was gonna roll with my white chicken chili. Let me, let me hold my camera up. Okay. I wasn't sure how this was gonna work with my white chicken chili. Can y'all hear me and see me okay? But anytime I'm cooking, instead of using salt, I use this, liquid aminos which is a natural soy sauce alternative. It's kind of like soy sauce, sauce, not, I use it on everything, like everything. And when I make my salad dressings, I use this. When I make different types of things, I'm, I use this. It's called Bragg's. You guys are probably familiar with the uh, apple cider vinegar from Bragg's, yeah. So this is their liquid aminos. It'll bless your life, okay? It'll bless your life. So check that out. You know, and so I'm going to put a little of this in it instead of putting regular salt or sea salt or anything like that. I'll put a little bit of this in it. And I'm not going to use a whole lot because I want to taste. I just cook to taste, so get it to taste good. Okay. It's coming together. I'm going to stir this corn up in here. All right, so it's coming together. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm just cooking this white chicken chili. I'm gonna put this cream cheese in it in just a minute, but I need some more liquid before that goes in. Um, I feel like I'm missing something else, but maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I'll know in a minute when I start to taste it. So I'm gonna start putting my liquid, adding more liquid instead of ask, uh, hey Kelly, how are you? Been a long time, been a long time. Good to see you here. I'm gonna start adding my chicken broth now. So this, instead of just adding water, I'm gonna add this chicken broth. And that'll give me some more liquid. And, I don't know, use about two cups to start, maybe, two cups. Cause you're not gonna use the whole thing right away. Cause you, may, you don't probably, you shouldn't have, shouldn't need it, the whole entire thing. All right, so it's cooking up over here. It's cooking up. So, uh, and then once I get my liquid to the level I need it, then I'm going to put in my cream cheese that I just cut. I'll put that in next. And then I'll tell you what else I do in just a moment. Let me move this out of the way. Let me show you this real quick. Where did my towel go? Okay, here we go. I'm losing my stuff here see it yeah this is where we are right now y'all still can y'all see it can y'all see it can y'all hear me can somebody give me a sound check please yeah kelly hey hope all is well with you hey aaron so i'm going to add more just a little more liquid did somebody give me a sound check? Oh, okay. Keanu, you still there? Okay, good. Thank you, sister. I'm going to add a little more chicken broth. Just a little bit more. Because it is chilly, you know, so it's going to be liquidy. You can make it as liquid, liquidy as you like. I think that's good. I think. Like I said, don't ask me about measurements. Hope for the best. So let's go ahead and put this cream cheese in there. You know I have it all ready to go. All right. I'm going to put the cream cheese inside there. And then I'm going to let that melt. I'm going to put it back over here on the stove so that it can melt. And then I'll tell you about other special ingredients. Just So it's looking good. It's looking good. 
I don't think I can move my camera over there without uh, tearing up some stuff, trying to get it out the way. But yeah, then I'll go in and do some more seasoning. Another one of my, uh, Tanisha says, send you some. So, girl, see, I'm messing up. Like, sorry, y'all. See how much I'm working on this thing. Okay, I'm back. It's, it got loose. You guys can make this chicken chili. It's so easy to make. So what I'll do is when my white, um, when that cream cheese melts and I finally get it melted, if it's not creamy, creamy like I like it, I add a little of this whipping, heavy whipping cream. And y'all might be like, what? But yeah, I do. Just a little, just a little, because it is very rich. Um, but I'll add a little bit of that. It depends on if it comes out, how it comes out with that cream cheese. <laughs> so am I bringing leftovers? Uh, Y'all ate my white chicken chili on Monday. My family didn't get any. <laughs> so, I don't know. My husband's going to be eating on this for the next couple of days. It's going to be great because it's going to be cold. It's going to be great for the kids to have something. I have an old tradition that I do for Halloween for, for meals, but we'll see if that happens. Some fun for the kids. Okay, y'all want to see how this is cooking up? Let's see. But I can make it. Let me try to move this over. Okay, hang on, y'all. I'm gonna close up the camera for a second to see if I can figure this out. No, see if I if I move this, it's gonna be. Hang on, I don't want to tear up stuff. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll be back in a, in a second. I don't think Facebook's gonna like me moving. Okay, can y'all? Oh, oh, this is not a good idea. I can already tell. Rotate your phone is what it says. Okay, let me stop messing up. And I'm going to take it right back where it was. Can y'all see it? It's not going to stay because this part right here wants to turn. So, there it is, coming together. I'm going to turn it down on low heat. Turn it on low heat. I got all kind of emails coming in. Y'all see it? So, you see the cream cheese is just melting, and now it's starting to turn white. So, that's the, the white in the white chicken chili. Hello, somebody. So it's starting to do its thing. The chicken is starting to break up a little bit as well. Let's see. How do you tighten this up without throwing the phone on the floor? Let's see. I don't think it can go down any further. Okay, this was a good idea, but uh, I'm not sure if it's still a good idea yet. All right, so now it's coming together, and it's turning white, and I'm starting with my left hand, so hope for the best. Get to the bottom, stir it in there. Y'all see the corn that's in it? So the cream cheese is doing its thing. Oh, it smells like so good, like for real. Like for real, for real, it smells good. All right. Hey, babe. So he's tuning in. I miss you. I'm sitting here doing this by myself. You're supposed to be here helping me. <laughs> God, I love you, girl. Okay, so um, it's melting. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So then what I'll start doing is start tasting it. And I'll taste it to see if it's where I want it to be. You know. Y'all better be tasting y'all stuff. Okay. Uh oh, see that? See, it's not gonna work. I don't know why I don't, don't want to say still. Okay, here we go. Let's try that. Can y'all see it now? Okay, yeah. I think you can see it. I'm trying not to knock it over. Okay, so you can also put more cilantro in it if you want to. If you like that, you could put more cilantro in it. 
So if you're just joining us, I'm making my award winning according to my colleagues, my realtor colleagues, award winning white chicken chili. And just having a little fun. You can also put a little red pepper, and I think I will do that because uh, there are jalapenos in this already. But I think I will put a little red pepper in it too. So, because I know Billy loves spicy foods. And yeah, that's it. Y'all have any questions? Any questions? I don't even see the red pepper. Babe, where's the red pepper? Why don't I don't see it? What did you do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. So I'm just gonna take a little red pepper, give it a little spice. Everything nice, just a little bit, cause man, red pepper will spice up some stuff and then you'll be stuck with something you can't eat. I didn't put any red pepper in it on Monday cause I didn't want everybody to have anything too hot. I'm sure who all likes spicy. Oh, hey Joan, how are you? Hey, Joan, you know what? I need to call you. So I need to DM you and we need to connect. I don't think we have officially, officially met, but I would love to connect with you um, for some clients that are looking to uh, invest. So look for my DM to come tomorrow to you, okay? I see the great things you're doing. So awesome. So awesome. So I definitely want to connect with you. So y'all, y'all got to connect with the right people and don't be ashamed to connect with them, right? Okay, sounds good. Awesome. I'm going to put a little of this heavy, like a little, like just like a little. That was probably two tablespoons. Y'all know what that is, heavy whipping cream. It'll bless your life. You can make some biscuits out of this right here and it'll bless your life. But I'm only putting a little in here because it's very rich. Now, I didn't tell y'all this was the healthiest chicken chili, but I am telling you it's some good chicken chili. I am telling you that. All right, so how's it looking, y'all? How's it looking? Would you eat this? Y'all better say yeah now, y'all. Y'all, it's very liquidy now. See, that's why I was telling y'all to beware of the liquid because it's, it's definitely in here. Right? You don't want to put too much and make it runny. And then you don't want to put not enough and make it thick. Too thick. So, this is a, probably a little bit more liquid than I like, but... Okay. So, let's taste it and see what we're working with. Let's taste it. I'm going to move it back. Hang on, y'all. Hang on. I'm going to move the camera back. Hey everybody, this camera is moving because uh, I have the charger. Okay, let's do this. Let's put it up there. That's why I was moving, duh. That's why I was moving. Man, see me? Wait a minute, let me raise this up. Wait a Who is DM Burks? Hey, how you doing? So yeah. Y'all think about this chicken chili. Y'all ready to take a look at it? Did I put everything in it? How y'all think it's going to turn out? Here we go. Let's see what we're working with. Let's see what we're working with. No double dipping when you taste. No double dipping. I need a small bowl. Where are all my little bowls at? I guess I'll just over here. I'll just use this bowl I've been using. Let's see what it's, what it's tasting like. Mmm, mmm. Yes, Jesus. Take, take the wheel. Mmm. A chicken chili. And it's got a kick to it. Oh, it'll bless your life. You hear me? Y'all hear me? Now, I'm about to do something to it. That y'all gonna be like, what? That looks nasty. But watch this. Watch this. Just watch. 
Now, this is the secret. This is the secret weapon right here. You can use a pinch. I mean, when I tell you a pinch, like a smut, like Victoria, I'm about to tell you this. Don't tell nobody because y'all probably going to be like, that's nasty. A pinch of cinnamon. Or you can use cinnamon sugar. Now, when I tell y'all just a little bit, just a little bit, like don't be messing up. Talking about what? It came out nasty. It was too sweet. So if you heavy handed, don't use the cinnamon sugar. Use some ground cinnamon. Okay. Yes. Wow. Right. I know. Right. So what I'm going to do is I should cover this up and I'll let y'all see this, but I'm going to put just a, uh, just enough to make somebody mad. Right there, right there, right there. Like, that's like a teaspoon. And I'm going to stir it up. Look, I smell it now, so it may be even too much I put in there trying to be funny. <laughs> yeah, cinnamon makes everything better. Like just a, like a pinch, like mm, just a little kick. And it's because it's, see, sometimes chili is missing his punch, you know? And so you want to make sure. Teaspoon. So I'm going to give me a clean spoon, and I'm going to take me a dip of it. Let's see what we're working with now. Mm-mm. That's some good stuff, y'all. Look at that. That is some good stuff. So, there's your white chicken chili. It's all here for you. So then you could take you a big old scoop of it. Because it's done. I mean, it's pretty much done. Let me take drain some of it. Because it is a little. There you go. And then, you know what you do after that? Let me show y'all what you do after that. Let's show Let's, show Let's see. Where did my goods go? I should have had it out already. But I didn't. And my kids. Oh, here we go. 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 Get you some chips. Get you some Monterey Jack cheese. And you take that and you sprinkle that thing on there like that. Oh. Oh. Sugar, sugar. Now, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Bless your life right there. And if I had, if I had chopped up some more cilantro, I'll put some cilantro on top, make it really pretty. But all right, now my son's up there yelling. All right, gotta go, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the chicken chili. I will leave the recipe. Facebook is tripping, so it's going in and out. So anyway, I see y'all later. All right, call me. Need to sell, buy a house? Call me. Help a sister out. Grow a real estate business. Married couples, especially. Call me up. Don't let the buying process lead you all to frustration, stress, and sometimes it can carry people through a divorce. You can't even get in the house before you can even stop arguing. So let us coach you through that process. Y'all know we are the marriage strategists. All right. Good night. Peace out.